hi everyone welcome to the ext.js video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn how we can install and use the uh, ext.js with the command line so first of all i'm just going to show you some of the important points and steps that we are going to cover through this video so i already collect some official links and they are the exact link that uh, will help us to download the sdk and download the sencha commands so that we can easily collect from the here we don't need to google it and uh, these are the steps so first of all we will download our command line from here then we, we will install it and check is it working or not then we will download the sdk link it will directly come on our email uh, as the send chat uh, provide it uh, by the email link and then we will copy the new project from the sdk and after that we will uh, run it and uh, check it is it working or not all right so first of all i am just copying the this link and uh, let's check is it working or not so these are the links so we can directly download from here when we just start with the download it will starting the download here so you can see that it will just take some time so as you can see that i already download this file just some time ago so i'm not going to download it again so i'm just going to cancel it so to save the time all right so just cancel it and when you just open it you will see there is a uh, when you just extract it you will find uh, there is an sh file is here so for installation we have to run that one so i'm just going to use a command from for that and just write here download and just initialize this file with the sencha command and when you just start with and it will showing that it's installing and one pop up will be get up here after that you can easily install it with uh, accepting the agreement and all the stuffs so you can download the everything that is asking by default and it will just take the few moments to install so we can directly wait here all right then it's directly installed then after that we can just close the command line and open the one more command line and the it's installed globally so that i can check with the sencha command is it working or not so fantastic it's working as you can see that there is a command that is telling some commands for here all right so that's fine so let's go with the next step first step is done now we have to download the sdk for that i am just going to open the same thing that is told by them and i am just going to open my email also because they sending the email sometime they will take some time to send the email so if they are just sent me exactly at the same time then i will use the same link otherwise i just uh, uh sent a email just uh, some time ago you can see that the time just uh, half an hour ago so i will use the this one link for the download all right so now let's uh, fill some details like here so in the company's all thing stuffs you can fill your details so fine so just you select your country and select the operating system i have linux 64 bit as a student you can choose as a student if you want i already select the random of them so just click on the download and now within a some moment they'll tell that they just share a link on the email so you can see that I complete the form provided that and thank you for interest so i will receive an email shortly all right so let's see that i got something or not so no i didn't get some th some something and we will get probably within a five minutes or ten minutes i will show you that one also but for now i'm just going to download this link from that all right so now just going to start that so probably it will be download within some time so if it will going to take time then so it will asking me to use the command line right so just click here directly evaluate project all 
click on that link and they'll just ask me the, some details once again and you can fill some details otherwise if you don't want to direct download now then, then you can just close the all the things and there is a link for the trial that is just asking that if you are having some problem with the uh, link then you can directly from download SDK from here then directly click here and you will see that a uh, one trial version is downloading here right so it will take some uh, moments so for that time I'm just going to be hold and just going to stop this video so that we can save the time so guys now you can see that the exg 6.7.0 is installed sorry downloaded so now let's uh, see in the folder so just close it and I'm just going to the download folder here I just extract the new one so we can just remove it so we just download that one also so now let's extract it here and after the extract we will use uh, that command so that uh, we can uh, make a copy of this and uh, we can start the new project alright so it will just take some moments alright it's uh, near to be done fine so let's close that one and here you can see that uh, we have the everything inside this folder so now let's go with that so just open um, terminal with that so now just go to the same folder here so I'm just going to the download and in the download um, the folder name is 6 7 and the version name so the command will be like censure minus stk this is the path and after that why uh, you can see the command here also so generate app and the app name so I'm just going to put the app name YouTube and the directory where I just want to install it it's a desktop and YouTube S that's the YouTube Censure and just hit the enter and now you can see that it's just start making a copy here and now let's go to the direct that folder here here you will see the, the files are being copying so I'm just going to minimize this command line and just open this folder inside the visual studio code so that we can just check out the code and some kind of stuff uh, until it's just uh, copying here it will just take some moments okay so Our project is almost ready. So, where I just put that one? I think I just opened the wrong folder. So, if that, yeah, I just have to go on the desktop and YouTube S, and just I have to open that one. All right. So it's a complete here. So now just look at the folder and first of all uh, I'm not going to go in detail because uh, this video is already uh, got some length so alright so these are the file structure that we are just going to discuss in the next so here you can see that this is downloaded so now I just go to the same file here desktop YouTube and here you can just try the sencha is it working yes this is working and with that now just use a sencha app watch and hit the enter now it will just uh, start the processing and make uh, make it available a port number that you can use the port number is 1841 all right so it's going to start here and here I just I'm going to use the 
local port number this is not started yet um, let me check yeah this this is all about to start mm, I think there is some issue then let me check and just give me a moment ah I'm sorry so I just put the forgot to put the folder name here so if I just put the folder name here like uh, which is what is the my folder name is YouTube s yes. then you can see that okay so this is running properly fine here as you can see that so the YouTube is the project name and all so this is a dummy project that is working so thanks guys so let's find this text and try to change something so like um, so that we can let's check is it working nicely or not so just go to the model I will explain you later then why uh, these steps we are doing so just um, okay so YouTube like and let's check so now you can see that YouTube like so it's working fine so thanks guys thanks for watching this video in the next video we will learn something new like the how we can just start with the command line and folder structure how we can place our mvc framework and all so thanks guys thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel